Today I'm speaking with uh, Robert Stewart, or Bobby Stewart as he likes to be called, the CEO of Geophysics, a Jamaican critical minerals company. Uh, good morning, Bobby. Good morning. How are you doing there, Jack? Uh, I'm, I'm doing relatively well, but what, what, I, what I want to talk to you about today is your company. Yeah. So can you give us a rundown on what Geophysics is doing right now, March 5th, I think, uh, 2024? So I think the quickest rundown is that for the last five or six years, we started an exploration campaign across the whole island of Jamaica. And uh, we did about 40,000 assays as we went across and put down licenses over anything that looked very interesting. Uh, we have primarily come up with copper and gold targets in the island. We have a joint venture with C3 that was just announced two days ago. And uh, we have had a lot of interest from the majors uh, for the copper and gold that we're working on in the rest of the island. And we may have some news shortly on that. But one of the surprising things that we came across while we were on this, this mission is a large area, about 100 square kilometers, that was highly elevated in rare earths, much more so than similar you know, Jamaica has a lot of bauxite and these bauxitic laterites tend to have a signature. And we found a patch that was just completely different. It was very elevated in rare earths and a couple other things. So we are now currently working on the best way to move that forward this year. You, you know, um, I don't think the audience is aware of the fact that, of course, Copper is a critical material. It, it's, in, I've always said this, it's the most critical mineral there is yeah. because without copper, we can't trans create or transmit electricity, so uh, we wouldn't have our civilization. And it's not infinite in uh, resource. It, it's, and so any, I've not heard before of copper on Jamaica. So this, this is a new source and a good one. The other thing, that people don't understand is that in the age of space exploration, gold is very important, okay? Because all of the devices and even the men, the suits of men and women in space are coated in gold to, re to reflect uh, the worst of the solar radiation. And it dawned on me the other day that the very first object I ever, uh, believe this or not, a Detroit-based company made the, the first satellite uh, for the U.S. Uh, Air Force. And I remember seeing it as a high school student and it was plated heavily in gold. And I asked the engineer, why is that? He said, it's the only thing we know that can, that can protect us, protect the electronics and the men in space. So copper is normally associated with gold and copper is also normally associated with all of the uh, many, many, many metals. So have you looked at... Uh, what might, what else might be in the copper deposit? What other metals have you looked at? Yeah, oh yeah, we've done very extensive. We've, everything we did was at a minimum 62 element assays. So we see a lot of interesting things. We see a lot of associations. Um, we have no doubt that we have identified for some of the targets, what may be contributing to them. We've done mobile MT. We did about 13,000 line kilometers of mobile MT. Uh, and some other geophysics as well. Jamaica does quite a bit of world trade, doesn't it? Yeah, and we're a big transshipment point in the Caribbean. And how far is Kingston from Miami? Well, Kingston to Miami is about an hour and a half flight. <laughs> okay, so actually it's neighbors, and, yep. uh, but for the vagaries of history, it might even be part of the United States. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we... So. We have a couple hundred million tons of material that are elevated in rare earths that we would like to turn into a supply chain. And, and mining is a long established business in Jamaica, isn't it? It's been bauxite mining there since the 50s. So you've got multi-generations of people who, yeah. who have done the mining. Yeah. Hard rock mining, not so much. It's been about 180 years. Really? But But... Bauxite right now is the only mining we really know of short of aggregates and limestones. So hard rock metal mining 
is something that we feel we have the potential for. But 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 there is people there. If we if we needed to if we needed to do something, and get some some critical minerals to the U.S., we're in the perfect is, spot. Is geophysics a, a public company? It's still private. Are, do you have any plans to take it public? You know, I think we're going to start by carving off some of the projects into units that are related to, you know, the critical metals, rare earths versus other critical metals like copper and gold. Um, but there will be at some point, I think we would like the stock market in Jamaica to be able to participate in this new growth. Have you thought about going downstream with any of these mineral projects? Processing? I've heard some, so I've heard some good ideas about how we should set up. We want to set up a plant in Jamaica to do some processing and be able to send concentrates out uh, or products. So w there's a few thoughts. All of these things require capital and planning. What, was aluminum uh, ever produced as a metal in Jamaica? There were proposals to actually smelt to finish an aluminum product in Jamaica. The energy costs are prohibitive. I think that as part of any planning to go further through that production chain, you would have to solve that problem. Uh, it's solvable. There's, there's a couple of ways around it, um, but currently it hasn't been done. Well, look, uh, best of luck to you. And please come back because we'd, like we'd like to hear uh, what's going on. In particular, we'd like to, if you're going to do an IPO, please let us know. I will. Good. And by the way, if we do that, we were going to be cross-linked on both the Jamaican Stock Exchange and another stock exchange like Canada, North America. Thank you. Thank you, Jack.